trap. Bockham versus Leverkusen. Leverkusen minus 360. Bockham, the mighty Bockham at home. Plus 725. Uh, Leverkusen minus 2 is plus 110. I wouldn't be expecting Leverkusen to beat anybody by three goals to get paid at the moment. They're minus 144 to score three. I, I, I'm interested. I'm interested in Leverkusen. Plus 114, Alex, to not score three. Uh, they, they might score free because uh, at the end of the day we are talking about Bochum, right? If they were playing uh, Munchen Gladbach or I don't know Union Berlin or Heidenheim, let's say, yeah. I would uh, yeah I would I would say that yeah Leverkusen might not score free, but I think that uh, um, we talked a little bit uh, before we we uh, started the show about uh, how bad Leverkusen look this season. Uh, that they are nowhere near uh, to the quality and uh, the form that they showed us uh, player by player if if it isn't to go that far uh, last season when they they won uh, the the league in uh, in germany but i think that uh, this is a very good game to bounce back after so many so many big problems that they had uh, apart from um, the the match against liverpool where they got absolutely destroyed they failed they failed to find the back of the net in two games back to back stuttgart in the bundesliga last week we thought that 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 match will go at least over uh, 3.5 goals and in this uh, uh, liverpool match um but uh, on top of that um apart from the dfb pokal with the uh, elsenberg uh they they didn't manage to win at uh, Werder Bremen uh they kept the uh, Brest kept them to a 1-1 draw uh Holsen Kiel kept them to a 2-2 draw so a lot of a lot of issues for Leverkusen right now who are only only 7 points behind Bayern Munich after just 9 games and if they continue to do that there is, there is no way that uh, uh, they will win the title again. I think that this is the perfect game for them to, in a way, show that uh, what they have been playing in the last two months was a mistake, that their quality <coughs> is another. Uh, they should be a lot better than this. And I think, in my opinion, they will destroy Bochum. We talked, uh, we talked a lot about uh, Bochum also last week also two weeks ago that they changed their manager uh that uh, they didn't appoint another manager that they know their fate uh because uh, they played the likes of uh, eintracht frankfurt bayern munich uh, and they conceded 12 goals in those two games uh so i think that leverkusen will go four four zero half time two zero and they will return home and Find their uh, find their peace in the international break and return and show us another Leverkusen side that we watched so many games and we made so many profit last season. Yeah, first of all, uh, welcome Neil. Uh, hello from uh, New York City. Uh, what a beautiful part of the world, Jeff. Yeah, feel welcome and please continue in the chat. Um, I think that someone in the chat said this is a lineup check. I think it is. Because if you look at the uh, the players from Leverkusen, the attacking players, I'm wondering if they're going to be given a little bit of a breather because they've not they've looked wrong, they've looked stale, they've looked um, slow in the mind. And at Bochum, you know, they're going to have ten men behind the ball, and it's going to be Leverkusen uh, to break us down. Do you think they break them down early? Um, oh, can you imagine? Bo Leverkusen don't keep clean sheets, Stefan. So do you imagine if Bochum went one nil up? But flash, flash before before that, who to go on the bench, uh, 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 Boniface, or yeah. and to play Chic? Yeah, I no, but know. yeah, but again, again, yeah, but no, there is a, a, a strangeness to that because what you're doing is with Boniface taking him out, bringing him on for the last half an hour, he's going to be fresh, and he's going to be playing against tired players. Chic, you can play two ways. You can play down the wings, get crosses in, but you can also play direct up to him because I think that Bockham. Uh, you're not going to be able to pass through them. I mean, this is a 4-6-0 or a 4-5-1 formation or even a 5-4-1 formation. I'm wondering how, because 
Boca will let Leverkusen have the ball up to a certain point. They're not going to come out of their holes. So the way that I would do it is because they've got good delivery, Leverkusen, keep getting it in the box and get Schick on the end of it and then and then bring on Boniface to just eat. and Because and, he needs goals as well, by the way, because he is missing everything. Stefan? Yeah, absolutely. Um, my main concern for Leverkusen going into this game is just how exhausted they'll be after that Liverpool game. Um, yes, they got thumped, but it was a game in which they got pulled across the pitch for 90 minutes. They were chasing shadows for 90 minutes. It was a really grueling game for them to play. They were actually okay for the first 60 minutes defensively. Then obviously the dam just burst and then Liverpool broke through. Um, and yeah, on the one hand, you could say they might have a degree of frustration that they want to take out of Bochum, but... The problem with this Leverkusen team and the squad as it is right now is they're just missing so many forward players. Uh, Adley's out, uh, Martin Terrier, who was meant to be this kind of exciting strike uh, winger that they signed, is out. Um, you know, if you actually look at that Liverpool game, to try and score goals, uh, <laughs> Xabi Alonso turned to Robert Andrick, who's a defensive midfielder, and a 33-year-old uh, Hoffman. And that's really the only options he had to mind. And we were talking before we came on air there that Leverkusen technically set up with two forward players. That's it. Uh, Florian Wirtz and Victor Boniface. And behind them, they had three defensive midfielders and five defenders. Now, of course, two of those, two of those defenders are very attacking in Frimpong and Grimaldo, but they're still fullbacks at the end of the day. They're not forwards. They're not attacking midfielders. They're not playmakers. And that's what you need to break down a Bochum team that I think will be sitting very deep. Uh, they've got a new head coach in Dieter Hecke this, season, uh, this week who will be determined to make sure his first game as Bochum head coach, is, to, is not a thrashing uh, against Leverkusen. So you, so on the one hand, you've got a, a team who are really up against it, who will be wanting to avoid conceding goals. And on the other hand, you have a team who will be very tired and just simply don't have that many attacking players uh, to come in. The only option I can think of, and you guys already mentioned it, is you drop Victor Boniface and you give Patrick Schick a run out. Um, but I think Boniface has looked exhausted for the last two or three games. Um, or he's frustrated, there's something about him, he just doesn't look like the same kind of player that was capable of so much last season, uh, and it's hurting Leverkusen, so I actually would say Leverkusen are a wee bit overpriced in this, to be honest with you, I still expect them to win it somehow, but I think it's going to be very tight, I don't think it's going to be very fun to watch, uh, and I'm staying, I'm staying well clear of it, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm not sure we see four goals, um, if it was me, in fact, I'd probably go against what I just said, and I would play Schick and Boniface. I'd go with three centre-backs because Bochum are not going to have more than one. So that's 3v1 at the back. And even Jonathan Tarr and his mates can look after one individual. I'd go with five midfielders, three central, two wide, spread them out, get the balls wide and just keep pumping it in the box and get midfield runners. Because the other thing you can definitely aim against Bochum is they mark space and not people. They can they can drop two or three goals. In, I will no, call no Xavi time. Alonso right now for you to to take his place in this match. I'm sure yeah, that my banker will win with I'm you busy. on the bench. I'm busy this weekend, no, but maybe I'll chat with him next week. But now listen, it is one of those that when you are as you've done as well as he has, and the players have done great, you have a target on your back, and teams find a way to not get beat before they beat you. So that's the other one. I mean, it's up to them to go and beat teams, which is a different mentality uh, completely. But really, really good game to watch this. Yeah, and Mitch says corner handicap. Yeah, what are they going to be, like minus seven or something like that? And it, I mean, because, yeah, I would say that's probably a great way to go, to be fair. Uh, I expect maybe 74, 30, uh, 26 in the possession. Um, let's have a little look at these official picks because Leverkusen halftime, full-time, minus 140. Okay, uh, nothing for myself, nothing for Stefan. 